Let's dive into database backups and restores. Database backups are necessary for all kinds of reasons. The example I've been using here is your site got hacked, there's a problem, spam has filled up your database, and removing it by hand is just damn near impossible. I've spent hundreds of hours of my life removing spam with all kinds of complicated SQL statements, um, trying to use software to do it, trying to... It's just ugly. Restoring from a good database backup is infinitely easier and preferable. Trust me on this until you felt the pain yourself of not having a good database backup. So let's talk about making automatic database backups so you never have to remember to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is store our MySQL root password in root, and then it's in an invisible file, .my.conf, so that our script can access it without actually having to supply a password. We're going to protect this by chmodding it to 600. That is, read and writable by root, and not readable or writable or anything else by anyone else. The file content will just look like this, client, user, root, password, and then whatever your MySQL root password is. What this allows us to do is log in without a password as the root user, and the reason we need to do that is because you're not always going to be up at 2 a.m. when you're doing the database backups. So once we have that in place, we can do passwordless backups using the MySQL dump utility. So what we're going to do here is run MySQL dump. The add drop table simply means we're going to add drop table statements to delete all the tables at the beginning of our backup file so that we can do a full restore very quickly without having to like merge tables or have weird problems. You can list multiple databases here, but we're simply going to choose our database. It'll be our database name, the database for the site that you're backing up. And then you use this output redirection symbol here at the end of the line, the greater than symbol, which really just points the output from that MySQL dump command, which will just be a huge amount of SQL, to a file. And that file will be home, username, backups, db, bin, date, year, month, day, SQL back. We're not going to cover this here, but if you want to cover all of your databases at once, if you want to back everything up at the same time, you can just do MySQL dump all databases, all routines into some full dump file. Our restores are going to be nice and simple too. To restore a single database, you just log in with root, MySQL u root p. If you have the password saved, you won't need that. You'll just log in as root and give your database name there with the input redirection, the less than sign, pointing to your backup name. To restore all databases, if you did a full database dump, you would simply do MySQL user root and then input redirection from all databases.sql. You wouldn't specify a database name. Let's take a look at how to do this in practice. Let's see what happens when I type in MySQL and try to log in as root. Access denied. I didn't supply a password. Well, that's understandable. So what I'm going to do now is create that file to store our password. So this is the .my.cnf conf file in root's home directory slash root. This is where I'm going to put my root user and root pass. You'll go ahead and replace this with your password. You can save the file. Again, we're in root's home directory, so slash root dot my dot cnf, or you could just type cd and hit enter. That'll bring you home as root. And now if we say mysql you root, we're logged in. It found our password, and we're good. So the one thing you'll want to change here is permissions for this file. It's hugely important. Right now, group and other can read our password from here. So we'll want to chmod600.my.cnf. This means that group and other will no longer be able to read our root password. Super important. 
Now that that's done, we can run one of the database backup commands that you saw. I just pasted this huge command here for you, just so you can take a look at it. We're still going to have to create the target directory that we're copying these database dump files to. So we'll want home, our user's username, and we'll need to create that backups db directory. Right now, we're going to do home tutorial Linux, and that doesn't have a backups directory yet. So to create multiple directories in depth, make dear dash p home tutorial Linux backups db. This will create that structure there. So now we've got the directory. You can see our backups directory and our db directory there. Let's customize this MySQL dump command to be exactly what we need. All we really need to do is change the username. So enter whatever username you've got going on for your site here. In my case, it's tutorial Linux. And conveniently, my database name is also tutorial Linux. So I can simply enter that here. Finally, I'm going to comment this out and run it. Let's see if we can do this. Well, that was fast. Let's list that directory again. Home, username, backups, db. And it looks like perhaps we should remove those quotes. Let's try that again. I accidentally quoted this. So that should do us. Let's have another look. Beautiful, this is what we wanted. I'm leaving these mistakes in here just to show you what the actual workflow is. Like you're not expected to get everything perfectly right away. You're not gonna trash your whole system if you screw a little something up. Just play with things. Before you script things, try the commands. Make sure the output is the way you want. So our database is 498K. WordPress databases will get a lot bigger than this, especially if you install any sort of like tracking, monitoring plugins, that sort of thing. But basically, that's it. That's a database dump. So you can, again, go ahead and copy this command, etc cron tab to schedule this. You can do the same thing here. We'll say at 202, every day, every month, every day of the week, root will run our MySQL dump command. Making sense? I've got these commented out because I don't want them to run. You would leave them uncommented. Let's go ahead and save our cron tab file. Okay, so now we're pretending that just after we took this database backup, we have been compromised. Some little jerk across the internet got in, found some kind of vulnerability, probably in the case of WordPress, an outdated plugin or vulnerable plugin, because our client here installs every single plugin that they find because their goal is to make their site as slow and insecure as possible. So we've got some spam now. We've got some spam posts that have been jammed into the database somehow. How do we get rid of this? How do we actually restore? Well, I'm going to head off into the directory that contains the backup. Home tutorial Linux backups DB. This would be just your users backups slash DB directory. And here's our backup. We're going to log in as root, select our database. Tutorial Linux is the name of our database. We're going to use input redirection here. The input will simply be coming from this file. So we're pouring this file into the tutorial Linux database. And we're done. It's a tiny database, so this is really fast. Let's have another look. I'm going to just reload the blog. And voila. Like magic, the post is gone. As you can see here, this has simply overwritten the database, dropped all the tables, and then simply created the database again with all the SQL statements that create all the content that we had in that backup. Nice and simple. It's really not complicated. In the slides, you can also see how to restore all of your sites from a huge dump file that contains all of your website backup dumps. 
But as you can see, both file system restores and database restores are really easy and painless, provided that you're automatically doing this, that you've got automatically scheduled backups.